All right, I'm leaving on another adventure. I'm going to be uh, leaving from my house in Crystal Lake, Illinois, and uh, headed all the way to uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, 12 days of cycling. Uh, I'm gonna take the train back. I'm gonna take Amtrak back. A uh, little different adventure. Um, this would probably take me, I don't know, maybe three weeks, three and a half weeks. Uh, if I was doing a, my normal, you know, 50, 55 miles a day. Uh, instead, I'm going to be taking my e-bike uh, and doing maybe 100, 100 to 120 a day and maybe some days uh, upwards of 150 miles. I spent last year uh, researching and building a uh, very large battery pack uh, for my bike um, so that I can do uh, up to about 150 miles uh, depending on the terrain, usually somewhere between 120 and 150 miles on one charge. So this is the bike. I actually got this bike for my 16th birthday. <laughs> so it's had all sorts of different forms. It was originally a mountain bike. Um, but I've got the BBSO2 uh, bottom motor uh, that drives everything and then just a single 10-speed uh, uh, mountain bike cassette in the rear. Uh, which seems to be just enough. Um, and the, the hope is to be able to maintain about 18 to 20 miles an hour during those, you know, 100 to 120 miles each day. I did a test a couple weekends ago, did 150 uh, two days in a row, and it was just a little too much. Um, but I'm sure there'll be days where, uh, you know, once I'm on the road for a while, that, that won't be a big deal. But. Yeah, so this bike has been in e-bike e form for, I don't know, maybe uh, the last five to seven years. And I just had a smaller battery pack. Wanted to see if I could expand it and do some different types of touring. I'm not giving up regular touring, just this is different type, a different type of touring where I can go longer distances um, and see more country or travel further places because I'm limited on vacation time. So. Uh, it's all pedal assist. I do have a throttle uh, if I need it, but it's all based on pedal. So the harder I pedal, the faster it goes uh, with different assist levels. So still, it's like riding a regular bike. I'm just doing twice the speed, essentially, is what's happening. So I uh, also have a very fast charger. Uh, it's like a 15 amp charger. The battery itself is a 50 amp hour, uh, 52 volt battery, and I have a 15 amp charger. So. Uh, about every hour of charging on the fast charger will get me an additional uh, about 40 miles of bike travel. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to hit the road. kind of late. It's going to be a hot day, 90 degrees, but had to take care of a few things before I left. So I'm ready to go.
right, I'm in Belvedere, making good time. About 30 miles down. Uh, I'm gonna try and make it to Iowa tonight. Just right across the border and uh, find a place to camp. I'm at the Rockford Airport now. Uh, next stop is gonna be uh, Byron. Uh, and I think I'll make some lunch there and try and charge the battery. See if I can find a town park or something. It's getting hot, gonna be 90 today, so it'd be nice to get some shade and relax for a little bit. Alright, I uh, stopped at a subway in Byron here. I'm gonna go in and get something to eat, but uh, found a sneaky, sneaky plug out here, so I'm charging. Alright, well, that worked out pretty well. I was able to uh, charge up about uh, 10 to 15 uh, amp hours more on the battery and uh, have some lunch at Subway, so good timing. All right, so about uh, 75 to 80 miles down and uh, maybe about, I don't know, 20 or 30 left uh, until I hit uh, Iowa. And uh, just found a little town park here and uh, it's hot out, it's like in the 90s. So I'm gonna take a breather in the shade here and, uh, and they have working outlets too, so I'm charging the bike up. Hopefully they have some water too. I see the faucet is chained off, but there's a bathroom. I'm gonna go see if it's open. Uh, yeah, feels good in the shade. Just uh, and hot out in the road. So anyway, I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit and then uh, be on my way. All right, I uh, hung out at that uh, shelter for maybe about an hour, hour and a half. Just kind of laid back in the shade. There was a nice breeze. Um, filled up on some water. Some dogs over there. <laughs> Thought might chase me. Uh, yeah, so I filled up on some water. Just relaxed, cooled down, and uh, feel uh, refreshed now. Just filled up, uh, filled up on my water bottles, and uh, so just now leaving uh, Forest. And next stop, I think, is Mount Carroll, and then Savannah, uh, and then I'll be crossing the Mississippi River. So. Uh, it's only uh, four o'clock, so plenty of daylight left. It's uh, July, so it's gonna be light out till like I don't know, almost nine o'clock. But maybe I'll uh, I'll stop in Savannah. I might stop in Savannah for dinner, or I might uh, just make something in camp. But I don't know. We'll see how I feel. The goal is to make it to Iowa, though. All right. Well, I'm in uh, Savannah. I just stopped at uh, Pizza Place. Um, kind of hot today. I think I said before, it's like in the 90s. So, um, felt good to just go and sit inside a air-conditioned place and have a beer and uh, pizza. So, I'm headed over to Iowa now. I'm gonna cross the Mississippi River. Uh, Savannah is a pretty cool town. It's got like some old heritage here. Apparently, I'm right by a historical marker in the first white settler was uh, 1828 here so but I'm gonna cross the river and 
in a camp, try and see if there's a site open at uh, the county park, the Sabula Island. I guess it's the only island in Iowa. But uh, brand new bridge. Brand new bridge uh, here. It used to be a really old, scary, like great uh, bridge. Almost impossible to cross on a bike. Your tires get stuck in it if they're skinny. Uh, but it's brand spanking new. So Mississippi River is right over there. Brand new spanking bridge. Yeah, very cool town. There's a state park up the road here to uh, Mississippi Palisades. It's a nice place to stay as well. But it's a little bit out of my way. So, all right, I'm gonna head over this bridge. Uh, I think four miles to the island. Alright, so I made it to the campground and there was uh, spots available. This is the Sabula Island uh, County Park campground. Um, pretty nice. It was only about four miles from Savannah over in Mississippi. It's the uh, only island in Iowa, supposedly. But anyway, made it here. Got some actual, some nice views. That's the, that's an actual lake out there. Uh, and then over here, that's the Mississippi and some of the tributaries over there. It was uh, super nice. I was uh, starting to pay my $25 and the uh, host started yelling at me like, Hey, don't put your envelope in there. Don't put your envelope in there. Hang on. And she came over and she's like, where are you coming from? Blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, just, just save your $25 for uh, a meal or something. So I can get to stay for free. She's like, I won't tell anyone. So that's pretty awesome. It's a second time that's happened to me before. So pretty awesome. So first night, free stay, and I'm going to go hit the showers. You can tell I'm probably I'm sweating my ass off. It's uh, finally starting to cool down, but uh, it's still very, very humid out here. I actually might wait a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, so all in all, good ride, uh, a little sore, but uh, it's to be expected, and probably take me a couple days to get warmed up, but yeah, cool place, and it was uh, 115 miles today, when all said and done, so not too bad, that's uh, about the limit, I think, uh, unless I get up really early, so anyway, 